I've been trying out all the classes in Space Marine 2 operations, and while I haven't made it to the end game yet, I can tell you how I would rank the classes in the early game. By the end of this video, you'll know which three classes I'm taking to the end game and why. Feel free to tell me what your favorite and least favorite classes in Space Marine 2 in the comments. Now what was my method of comparing these classes? Well, I took in consideration how fun the gameplay is, and how useful the first row of perks are. I got each class to at least level 9 and played through the average difficulty level with all of them. My skill is more weighted towards gameplay, so a good perk might lose to a class that I feel is more fun to play. Of course, this ranking is just for fun. I'm not saying a class is not playable just because I ranked it low. Just might not have been my playstyle. So with that out of the way, let's begin. Number six, Assault. Now the Assault class does not get a primary weapon. You do get a choice between a bolt pistol and a heavy bolt pistol for your secondary, and a choice between the chain sword, thunder hammer, and power fist for your melee. This class also comes with three armor slots. I typically went out with a heavy bolt pistol and thunder hammer. Your ability is your jetpack, a slightly downgraded one from the campaign. You can't jump as high or hover and fire your gun, it still provides some nice mobility and the ground pound attack. Now for perks, this class has a starting perk that gives you a 50% increase to perfect dodge timing. The first team perk makes it so the party ability cooldown is reduced by 10%. Not a bad perk, but I never really missed it when the assault was not in the squad. The first signature perk is that whenever you use your jetpack, your gun is reloaded. I didn't care about this at all. I've never considered jetpacking for the reload or noticed a difference in my gameplay. Other noteworthy starting perks, there is an auxiliary arsenal that will increase your secondary damage by 15% and smiting angel that will increase your ground pound by 10%. This class just hasn't clicked with me and I feel it is one that I understand the least. By the mobility of the jetpack, and the ground pound attack is nice. Everything in between that cooldown feels clunky. Number five, tactical. The tactical class has a lot of options for the primary weapon, starting with the auto bolt rifle, the bolt rifle, the heavy bolt rifle, the stalker bolt rifle, the bolt carbine, the plasma incinerator, and the melta rifle. Whew. This class only gets one option for the secondary and melee though, the bolt pistol and chainsword. This class also comes with three armor slots. I've been starting out with the Stalker Bolt Rifle, but will change out to the Melta depending on the situation. The class ability is the Auspex Scan. This scans a selected area marking enemies and making them more vulnerable. The mark lasts 8 seconds. Now for perks. This class has a starting perk where any unequipped ranged weapon reloads automatically after 10 seconds. This gives you incentive to switch to your secondary and then back to your primary for continuous fire. The first team perk for this class reduces recoil by 20%. This one sounds like it would be nice, but I've never missed having it when a tactical player isn't on the squad. The first signature perk makes it so that any enemy marked by auspic scan cannot call for reinforcements, which is pretty nice, especially if you can't get a line of sight on the enemy that is in progress of the call, but could hit him with the scan's area of effect. Other noteworthy early perks, battle focus will mark a perfectly parried enemy with auspic scan. Also, final shot will cause an equipped ranged weapon to reload automatically after a finish. The class is solid, but the the reason it's so low on my list is because it's so basic that it's boring to play. However, if someone is having fun with this one, I say more power to them. I wouldn't be mad if it's on the squad, just wouldn't be me playing it. Number 4, Bulwark. The Bulwark is another class without a primary weapon. This class does have the option for either a bolt pistol or plasma pistol for the secondary, and a choice between a chain sword, power fist, or power sword for melee. This class is unique in that it also has a shield to block attacks and bash with, while also having three armor slots. I typically went out with the plasma pistol and power sword. The Bulwark ability is the chapter banner. You plant it down on the ground and it creates an area of effect that can restore the armor for you and your teammates over time. Now for perks. This class has a starting perk that gives you 20% more more health. The first team perk is that it reduces the cooldown for armor regeneration by 5 seconds. I didn't care for this perk. If we have 20 seconds to spare, then the fight is probably over anyways. Also, there are plenty of armor boosts that can be found throughout the early game, making this a bit useless. The first signature perk will have you drop a shot grenade when your armor is depleted. This has a 120 second cooldown and can be very helpful when activated. Other noteworthy starting perks, there is Purity of Purpose that will augment your chapter banner to also deal small amounts of damage to enemies in the area of effect. There's also Rejuvenating Effect, which further augments your chapter banner to revive incapacitated squad members. Starting out, I wasn't a big fan of this class. I liked the idea of it, but it took me a bit to understand the playstyle. Once I got to level 9 though, and had some perks unlocked, the class really opened up for me. I enjoy holding down an area with the banner, supporting the team and causing damage to the enemies. Also, walking up to an enemy while it's desperately trying to shoot you down, but you're blocking all the projectiles with your shield? Very satisfying. This is a fun class that is just slightly overshadowed by my next pick. 
Number three, sniper. The sniper gets a choice between four primaries, the stalker bolt rifle, the bolt sniper rifle, the bolt carbine, and the last fusil. Meanwhile, only has one choice for the secondary and melee with the bolt pistol and combat knife, while having two armor slots. I typically bring out the stalker bolt rifle, sometimes switching to the last fusil for bosses. The ability for this class is camo cloak. This hides you from your enemies until your next attack or enough time has passed. Your next attack while cloaked will deal more damage. You could also manually end your cloak early, reducing the cooldown. Now for the perks. Your starting perk increases your headshot damage by 10%. Your first team perk increases headshot damage by 10% for all team members, which is a great bonus. Your first signature perk activates camo cloak for free after a perfect dodge cooldown is 15 seconds. This has been a great way to lose aggro from bosses or extremist enemies. Other noteworthy early perks are Purification, which removes negative status effects when manually activating Camo Cloak. Also, Guardian Protocol, while reviving a teammate, activates Camo Cloak for you and the teammate for 5 seconds without spending any charge. Cooldown is 30 seconds. I actually hated this class at first. However, I switched from always using the Laz Fusil to the Stalker Rifle because the Laz ran out of ammo so quickly. I also changed my playstyle to find good spots to shoot from and just pepper in shots on enemies that were already engaged or calling for reinforcements. It's a class that is methodical with their actions and patiently awaits opportunities. Very different from the way I usually play. The Camel Cloak has come in clutch when getting swarmed, allowing me to sneak back into the shadows or while reviving a teammate. Elusive and deadly, which is fun for me on occasion, but not the main way I like to play. Number 2, Heavy. The Heavy has a choice of 3 primary primaries, the Heavy Bolter, the Heavy Plasma Incinerator, and the Multi Melta, while having two options for secondary with the Bolt Pistol and Plasma Pistol. There are no melee options for this class, but it does get three armor slots. I like to start off with the Heavy Bolter, switching to the Multi Melta in close combat scenarios, meanwhile having the Plasma Pistol as my secondary. The ability for the Heavy is Iron Halo, which creates an energy shield in front of you to block projectiles. You can end this manually to reduce the cooldown. It's a great way to protect yourself from ranged enemies while more down chaff. Now for perks. The starting perk for the heavy makes it so that when Iron Halo is active, teammates that are within 50 meters take 10% less range damage. Now add that to the first team perk, which reduces range damage by 20% for all team members. The first signature perk makes it so that when Iron Halo is active, it deals damage to all enemies within 5 meters. Other noteworthy early perks. Restoration. Killing 10 enemies in rapid succession restores one armor segment. Cooldown is 15 seconds. And with the multi melta, this is easy to do. Also, Abdurate Bastion, which increases Iron Halo's durability by 20%. I fell in love with this class pretty early on. You feel like a walking tank, mowing down countless enemies and providing defensive buffs to the team. Without a melee option, you do feel vulnerable while out of ammo, so you'll be scavenging a bit more. Also, teammates will see where you're shooting at and decide to walk right into the line of fire, so you'll want to position yourself at a flank or up high if possible. This has been a very fun class to play and almost tied with the next pick. And we're at our number one pick, the class that I will be maining into the end game unless already chosen by another teammate, which then I'll go heavy or a sniper. Without further ado, number one, Vanguard. The Vanguard comes with three choices for primary, the Instigator Bolt Carbine, the Oculus Bolt Carbine, and the Melta Rifle. Only one option for secondary with the Bolt Pistol, two melee options with the Combat Knife and Chainsword while sporting two armor slots. I typically take the Melta Rifle, Bolt Pistol, and Chainsword, sometimes opting for the instigator bolt carbine for long range skirmishes. The ability for the vanguard is the grapnel launcher. Basically a grapple hook that you shoot at an enemy to launch yourself to them to perform a dive kick or finisher. A great way to zip around the battlefield, execute enemies, or assist an ally. Now for the perks. The starting perk for the Vanguard lets you regenerate contested health 50% faster. The first team perk gives a 15% bonus to melee damage for all members of the team. The first signature perk restores a grapnel launcher charge after performing a finisher with the grapnel launcher. If you're able to pull this off, you can chain these for multiple kills. However, you might want to be mindful of your teammates in case they need the armor from the finisher. Other noteworthy early perks, Duelist increases your perfect parry window by 50%. Also Thrill of the Fight, which reduces health damage by 50% for 3 seconds after a perfect parry or dodge. This class is so much fun to play. Versatile and deadly. Zipping around with the grapnel launcher is fun. The large parry window makes you feel like a master of melee. My main complaint, the grapnel launcher finisher doesn't always trigger, though that doesn't bother me too much since the combo I like to run is grapnel, melta, melee, execute. Also the 15% melee bonus for everybody is nice to have. Now I'm looking forward to getting into the end game and seeing how strong these classes can get when maxed out. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and I'll see y'all in the comments.